Hey guys, it's Aaron. As promised, last live stream, we're going to take a look at Erode or Enerot's Fractal Terrain Eroder. You can see why I call it Erode. Uh, but we talked about it in our last live stream and we want to take a look at it right now. Erode is a cool tool that takes uh, basic geometry and basically goes through and subdivides it and then moves the points around. So you can see this in the picture on Extension Warehouse, we got basically an extruded rectangle that kind of gets more and more eroded. It gets broken up into smaller pieces and, and, and chaos is intentionally created. Uh, it's a cool extension and it's a very easy to use extension, but I want to show it right now. So if you were watching our last live stream, uh, we talked about different ways to take ordered geometry and make it look less ordered or you know broken up like this. And this is a great extension. It's available on the 3D Warehouse. We'll link to it in the description below. And uh, it is also a free extension. So check it out. Uh, it is a quick and easy tool to use. So we're gonna we're gonna use a little bit here. So we're gonna do the first thing. We're gonna do exactly what was in the the page. I'm just gonna grab some geometry. This is just an extruded rectangle. You see it is raw geometry. It's not inside of a group. And I'm gonna go up to extensions and I'm gonna hit erode. When I hit erode, I do get a little bit of a UI here. Uh, how many iterations do you wanna go through? How many times do you wanna pass through this and erode it? Uh, what is the magnifier for pointiness? And do we want to move? So I'm just gonna run it with the defaults. Two, 0.5, and a no. I'm gonna hit okay. All right, and there we go. Look what we got there. We got this. So it looks much more like a, a rock or something that's been beaten down a little bit. Um, you can kind of see what it did. If I go up to view and hit show hidden geometry, you'll see exactly what it did. So it did look like this. It went through and broke each piece into four pieces. And then because we had two turned on, two iterations, it broke each of those into two pieces also. And then you can see it just grabbed each point that was then created and moved it a little bit. It just scooted them around. So we end up with this broken up looking thing rather than the nice clean block we had before. So let's do this. Let's let's play with this a little bit. Let's grab, here, I'm just gonna triple click. Let's grab this next one. These are just copies of the same exact geometry over and over again. Let's grab it. Let's go to extensions and erode. Let's play with our UI here a little bit. Let's go down to one iteration and leave everything else the way it was. And you'll see what I'm talking about one subdivision versus two. So that went through, broke every face into four, put diagonals across there, and then scooted some points around. Pretty simple, pretty easy, looks pretty cool. Um, so you can see why multiple erosions end up looking a little bit better, uh, a little, little more organic than one. So let's let's play with some of those other values though. Uh, let's grab this, we'll go to extensions and hit erode again. And uh, let's stay with, uh, one and let's bump the let's go big let's say pointing this two and we'll hit okay and look what happens there whoa so yeah we got we got big points we got this would this would cut you right so the moves are more extreme it's it's gotten a lot more than what we saw before so that is the the pointing this magnifier so this is 0 0.5 this is 0 0.5 this is two so significantly more movements, significantly more big points. If I triple click here and let's let's run that again. And this time we'll stay with one, we'll leave it on 0 0.5 and we'll bump that up to a yes for move. And I hit okay there. It's hard to tell the difference because we're only moving 0.5. Let's do this. Let's grab this last one or not last one, next one in line <laughs> and uh, go to erode, leave it one iteration. But let's bump it up to two like we had before and say yes for move and click OK. There. So you can see the the movement, this stayed pretty close to where it was inside. It's it's not exactly inside the box. We're going outside of that original box for sure uh, a little bit. But here it went way outside, right? So it's way taller, lower. This, this corner is just beyond the bounds of even the next box over. So you can see that move gives you a whole lot more variation. If I come in here and grab this one, let's go, I'm gonna go, so now we've kind of explored the UI, the three things I love, you guys know how much I love this. I love a clean extension with just a couple things to mess with. Oh, so nice. 
what if we bump iterations, right? So let's go up to four. So what this is going to do, I'm going to leave it as a low, you know, a low movement. So it's going to stay kind of in a bricky shape. Uh, pointing this is again going to be 0.5. I don't want a ton of movement, just a little bit, but a whole lot more iterations. Let's see what that looks like. Click OK. It's going to take a second. Every time I do this, remember I'm multiplying the number of faces in the geometry by four. So this is four up to 16, up to 32, up to 64. Is that math right? That math sounds right. So this is 64 faces on each side, and then each of the points connected to that are going to be moved in the X, Y, or Z direction. And there we go. So you can see that is a lot of detail. It also took a little bit of time to go through and break all that up. Probably excessive, probably more than I'd want. Let's go, let's go look at it without the uh, edges on. So you can see it's really broke up. There's a lot in there. Um, probably more than I would need. If I was going for some kind of a hero piece of material or something, maybe it would make sense. But uh, yeah, probably more than I would want in general. Let's split the difference. Let's, let's, let's grab this next one and let's try this. I'm going to go into extension. I'm going to go to a road. Um, let's try three iterations. Uh, yeah, let's keep the point. I, you know, let's, let's, let's get crazy. Let's go a little bit bigger. I still don't like the move. I, the move is okay, but it was just a little bit too extreme for me. So I'm just going to three point is one and I'm going to click okay. And then we'll see what that looks like. I'm looking for that perfect amount of detail versus, you know, simplicity. Oh yeah, that's better. Ooh, that's actually probably a little extreme too. Look at that. Um, yeah, so you can see, but if I, if again, I go to view, turn my hidden geometry, you can see how much less geometry there is to deal with this. Again, every time we you turn up that by a number, it doubles. So it's not like uh, progressively just one step, it's doubling each time. So that's that's a lot, That's that seems a little better. Um, maybe a little, little much, maybe go back down. So obviously the question here comes, where do I use this? You know, where do I, where do I, so you can plenty of organic things. I think about like modeling food as entourage, right? If I'm going to have a, a croissant or a, a muffin or something like that, it's real easy to model these perfectly smooth shapes. Hitting them with erode will give you that little bit of randomness that things like baked goods or, or maybe even fruits or vegetables sometimes have. So it's not as perfectly smooth. The other, of course, is, you know, the ones that are shown in the example is bricks. So say I wanted to put multiple bricks together and, and have them erode, erode together. So I'm going to grab all of these. I'm going to go to erode and I'm going to go, yeah, I'm just going to go with the default on this one and click OK. And then it'll go through and erode all of those bricks. There we go. So what I could do is I could do that. And then what I'd probably go through and do is, so if I come over here, you can see I have these as groups. If I click on a grouped set of geometry and I go to extension and I hit a road, no, you can't do that. You have to actually select geometry. So what I could do is I could come in and grab each one, open it up, go to a road, click OK, let it erode that one, then close, then go to the next one. But as you saw here, it was much easier to do them all at the same time. The problem with this, of course, is that the grouping, right? So at this point, I did all these separately. Now I could come in and I could group each of these. Um, and then I'm going to turn off my hidden geometry. It's a little, little bit easier to deal with this kind of stuff because you can just click once and it's, it's quicker. Uh, so I can make that a group. Make that a group. And then I can just move these around as I need to, to line them up. So if I wanted to stick on the green, I could come in here, butt that up against. Um, the nice thing about having them grouped first, like this, is that they're already maybe located where they need to be. So after I erode them, They're already lined up to my perfect grid, you know, so my space is kind of maintained. Obviously, your road's going to push in and out and it's going to have little little bumps and stuff here and there. But for the most part, that's going to allow me to kind of keep my on center spacing between my bricks. That is actually what I did to make this this wall right here. So I made a wall of like, you know, concrete 
I don't know, some kind of natural carved, natural carved stone. Is that an oxymoron? But I could get that in there and have them look like this. Obviously, there's spaces between. Um, we've done this before in other other uh, videos. But what I could do is I could make a group like this. This is going to be my mortar group. I could grab that, make that a group, and then slide that in here like, like that. And that'll fill those, those cracks in. Maybe even a little, just a touch more. Too much, too much, back it up, back it up. There we go. So I can do that and then I get that nice brick look. Obviously this is done without materials, but once I come in here and I start putting like a nice stone material on here, um, maybe something like, let's go look at stone. I grab material and I start filling this in like this. Looks less like bags of flour. Another, so we get something like that. So pretty quick and easy way to get you know that stone looking feature with uh, with a road to just kind of take it from you know beautiful bricks, beautiful beautiful ordered geometry is so easy to make with a computer. You just got to work a little harder if you want randomness and erosion. But there you go, a great extension to take your beautiful nice ordered geometry and uh, turn it into. A beautiful mess. No, a lovely mess. No, it's not a mess. It's not a mess. It's a good looking. It's a good looking model. But uh, yeah, you got some randomness and some some bumpiness, all that good texture that you really want when you're modeling something like stone or or organic shapes like that. So, like I said, we did this because we talked about this extension on the live stream. Uh, try to do that. When we, when we cover something, we say we're going to come back and cover, we try to do it. Uh, it doesn't always happen this quick. This was kind of a weird situation where I had the time that lined up just perfectly to make this video after the last live stream. Actually, by the time you see this, this will be two live streams after or more if you watch this in the future because YouTube is forever. But uh, we just want to show you guys like when we talk about stuff, we, we do like to follow up and that sort of thing. Uh, if you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment down below. Is there another extension you think we should take a look at? Uh, do you have a workflow that you think we should dive into? Is there a specific model you would love to see made? Um, we want all those ideas. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.